The 2020 Content Downloader is a digital alternative to the monthly disk sets used to update the catalog. It requires approximately 100 gigabytes of free disk space, and the download size is approximately over 60 gigabytes. On a 100 megabit per second connection, it takes slightly over two and a half hours to download. To access the catalogs, you need to first have an email sent from office.support at 2020spaces.com. This email still functions if forwarded. Within this email is a link to a verification page where you write in the email address that 2020 Office sent the link to. This gives you a download button. After we click it to begin the download, we obtain an executable file that will assist us in downloading the full content downloader. Open it and grant it any permissions it requests. We'll get a quick info screen and on the next page have the option to begin a new download to start a download specific to the month. If your computer has Hibernate settings turned on, consider disabling them. Now we select a location for the digital disk to be downloaded to. This location needs to be on a drive with the required amount of space and can be a network location should other users also want to install the catalogs from it. You will want to keep track of where you choose to download the file to. At this point, we leave the operation to complete the download. An in-progress download will have these temporary files piecing the data as it is received. Once it's finished, you'll have an ISO file, .iso, that might automatically open. If it doesn't, Windows 10 lets you right-click it and select Mount to create a virtual disk drive. The auto-run executable here will open up the standard installation prompt menu. But if that fails to work, you can use setup.exe for local catalog installations or the network.vbs for updating network deployments. At this point, you can follow the installation prompts to go about either updating or installing the catalogs normally. Once we have installed what we need and are finished with the virtual disk, right-click the drive's listing and select Eject. 